Grandpa Newby reporting for duty, and it's been a fun time. These last couple of weeks of Modern Warfare 3 gives you the opportunity to try new things, to be all that you can be, Army, or to aim higher, Air Force, or to go out on a boat for six months at a time that you'll never get back in your life, Navy. I've had a lot of comments, people asking me to try the buff Fennec. So I've already put out videos on the Fennec before, but hey, Fennec's one of the best, if not the best SMG in the game right now, so why not give it another go? Again, try something new. My previous video was on the highest recoil you can possibly get with a Fennec, and it showed that it was a great weapon, and we, even with high recoil. The Bogan Hunter left me a message that said, give the Fennec a try, it got a decent buff. We'll check on that in a second. Definitely use the Quartermaster Suppressor. That's going to be a much more conservative build than the one I did the video on before because everything was hanging out. We were running as fast as we can. Maximum recoil, maximum return, maximum risk. So this is a bit more conservative than that. Now here's the configuration. Let's check on that buff. And you can see that it's really a buff slash nerf. The maximum damage was increased by 8%. Near medium damage increased 30%. So that's really nice. Minimum damage increased 18% or plus 18. That's extremely nice, but the maximum damage range, the near medium damage range, and the medium damage range got significant nerfs. So let's take a look and see what those damages are. 36 to the head, 29 to the upper lower torso and upper legs. Effective damage range is only 4.8 meters, which, you know what? That's probably okay because the rate of fire is 1,090.9, almost 1,100 rounds per minute. You're going to be spitting out the lead. I don't think the ranges are going to make one bit of difference at all. And you can see that the recoil has been controlled. Let's have a look at this newly configured Fennec in the shooting range. First, let's hip shot. Hip shot goes absolutely straight up. A little chatter side to side. Let's look aim down sight, straight up. Maybe a little chatter side to side. Now let's try to control the recoil. And you can see that it is absolutely able to drive nails. So let's take the newly configured Fennec, the Buffs Nerf Fennec, onto the field of honor, see how it did for Grandpa, see what it did to Grandpa's grumpy enemies. Let's go. All right, let's get into this. Free for all with the Fennec. Dumbed down a little bit to account for recoil. Grandpa can't find anybody. Maybe they're all up in their rooms in the hotel. There's a customer. Looking outside. Nobody coming in. Oh, there's somebody there. You can tell because they have all that tactical and lethal set up there. And they're cam camping, muppeting behind it. Grandpa's going to do a little hip shot from the muppet position. And you can see that. If you're up close, unless somebody's spearing you, you always have an obligatory knifer, and he's a zombie. So zombies don't have brains, and that's why he's using a spear in free-for-all. Because not only does he not have brains, he probably doesn't have any gun skills. No, oh, that was mean of Grandpa to say. Oh, no, I don't take it back after all. There are two knifers. Come on, guys. And I think it's the easiest thing there is to do in Modern Warfare 3. Hostile mosquito is online. Besides using a Fennec, that's pretty easy too. Look at that. Uh, Grandpa's just be bopping along. I mean, the thing is a bullet hose. It's got 45 rounds, but it goes through them in a hurry. So you better be ready with your secondary. Oh, and Grandpa's ready with a secondary. He's trying to heal himself, trying to shoot. Got the triple kill, and he gets speared by a zombie, a brain-dead zombie. That's why they always want to eat your brains, because they don't have any. There he is again. I'm telling you, this guy's making a career out of selling Grandpa the farm, but he did step on my proximity mine, so there is some poetic justice there.
What did I hear? A spear, a spear. Talking about poetic justice. You know what was fine? He stepped on my proximity mine. Grandpa will never be a rapper. Oh, this guy's going to be waiting for me. And go around him and finesse him. The poor guy felt sorry for him. Almost didn't gack him. The Fennec just deletes people. Oh, I didn't know he went. I thought he went down the stairs. The Modern Warfare 2 map, some of the skins just absolutely blend into the map background. Oh, what are you doing? So the Fennec, I mean, this is the first game I tried. Now, I'm going to try, uh, after I'm done with this, I tried a 6v6 to see how it operated there. And there wasn't much difference. The thing is a gacamole machine. I mean, with the Fennec, you're always serving chips with a gacamole. But you better have an extended mag on it if you're playing free-for-all or you plan on more than one kill because... It may only take a few bullets to gack someone. I don't know if I got the revenge on that or not. I don't think they're spear chucker. Oh, got him. The guy that throws the spears. The zombie. Yep, that, you know, somebody's got some tactical or lethals there, proximity mines, and only grandpa is allowed to use those. Come on. It's a bad idea, except for when I'm doing it. Just like using the Fennec. Oh, Grandpa's kangarooing. Only nine shots left. And the reason why, it may only take a few shots, but when you pull the trigger, they start firing at about 20 rounds a second, a little under that. And then when you release the trigger... Your brain doesn't release it at the exact five shots it takes to gack somebody. Let's get rid of that thing, whatever it is. I think it's a, like a ground UAV. Where is this guy? He's got to be here somewhere. Oh, maybe he died. Oh, that looks like somebody threw a spear at through another one. Missed and missed, and Grandpa gacked him. A little gacamole with his chips. Yeah, I feel pretty confident with this weapon. I mean, yeah, you can do advanced movement. I did do some jump shots to keep people off of me, but break their aim. But uh, you can just basically run around with this thing and pull the trigger. As long as your aim is fairly decent, you're going to end up with a gack. See, just like that. The guy did not have a chance. Not within the lethal range of four meters. Not even outside the lethal range. I think this thing was good to about 20, 30 meters. Because it just puts so much lead in the air. And as the fighter pilot says, as long as there's lead in the air, there's hope. There's a Snickers victory, Grandpa. The, the rhythm's got to get out of him. I mean, the rhythm just has to leave me. 30 Gax. And the guy got the first shot. He just didn't keep shooting at me. Looks like he's using a shoddy. Now, how somebody with a 30 rank get 1.67 in free-for-all? Hmm. So here's the 6v6, a team death match. Fairly good players on the other team. Grandpa just decided to keep moving. Even after he's dead, I'm moving in spirit. Remember, you got to change out that magazine, or you better have those quick grip gloves on to switch your secondary. I could not save Little Red Riding Hood from getting executed there. She's too nice a girl to be executed like that. We got a Muppet blocking Grandpa. There he goes. I see someone shooting there. Dude, that guy was hiding behind the 
the Muppet spot there, and still the enemy almost got Grandpa right in front of him. Two rounds left. I don't know what I think I'm going to do with that. So, Fennec, thanks for the recommendation, Bogan Hunter. Everybody, uh, let me know what your favorite SMG is. The Fennec pretty much has always been mine. There are other SMGs that are extremely powerful. But the Fennec, to me, just feels good in your hand. I mean, it absolutely destroys. It deletes people. It sends their pixels to Jupiter. They de -reses them. Look at there. And it is quick. Of course, at that point, I think I had my horizontal set at 11, so I could swing around pretty quickly. I had it set for sniping. There's a shoddy user, and Grandpa turns into a illegal cigarette. It's not my life goal or dream to do that, but sometimes it happens. All right, Grandpa's going to switch it out, get up his situational awareness. There's somebody coming from my left, and he gacks me. Turns me into a cigarette again. A roll your own kind. So I'd appreciate it if you take a moment to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, the subscription helps me, helps my family. You can always decide to unsubscribe later. There's a little dog fight there. That's great for a fighter pilot to be back in dog fights. Appreciate it. Yeah, the Fennec, it is top notch in Modern Warfare 3, but that's no surprise because it was in Modern Warfare 2. Streaming on Thursday night and Sunday night at 6.30. That's central time in the United States, 6.30 p.m., 18.30 for your military types. Thanks for watching. Cheers and peace to you always. See ya.